be gentle. Okay? I've really had to fight. I've had to fight for testing. I've had to fight to be seen. I've just had to fight for answers. And I don't think that's fair. The, the pandemic has had a very dramatic effect on all aspects of cancer care. There were patients who were afraid to go into the hospital because of the risks of the virus. And then hospitals needed their staff to work on other things. So we think cancer screenings at one point were down 95% in the United States. Everyone in cancer care will tell you that we're doing harder surgeries, sicker patients, people who've had to go through extensive treatment before we can take them to surgery. The, the first thing you would look for is evidence of this thing upstaging, meaning diagnosing patients at a higher stage. And uh, we're just starting to see bits of evidence for that. Some of the best data come from the UK and Canada, where these statistics are very similar to what we've seen in the United States. In general, we believe that most countries with uh, modern cancer surveillance programs will be affected uh, to some degree. A patient should talk to their doctor about whether or not they can really put their mammogram off for six months or delay their colonoscopy for a year. I think also we've learned a lot about how to protect patients when they come in for screening, wearing a mask and social distancing and other measures. Uh, even, even in unvaccinated populations, we now are well, very able to take care of patients in a way that is safe for the patient, it's safe for the providers and the caregivers who see those patients, but also they can get their necessary care. The fear of the National Cancer Institute is that we will just change one public health emergency, the coronavirus pandemic, for another public health emergency, which would be excess cancers from the disruptions.